The uh, first cranial nerve for you to understand is that of the olfactory nerve. It conveys just one functional component, and that is special afferent nerve impulses, and this is going to be for olfaction. The olfactory nerve is transmitted through cribiform plate of ethmoid bone. The sensory cells for olfaction are in the olfactory uh, mucosa, and you can see those uh, identified uh, in the illustration uh, right in through this area. Uh, this next slide uh, allows you to zoom in and to uh, gain a better appreciation uh, for uh, this uh, special afferent functional component that's associated with the olfactory nerve. So at a higher view or higher magnification, uh, you can better see the uh, olfactory or sensory cells in the olfactory uh, mucosa. Uh, their axons will extend through the uh, foramina in the cribriform plate, as we see here, and then they're going to synapse uh, within the olfactory bulb region, and then uh, neurons from the olfactory bulb uh, will travel in the olfactory tract uh, toward the olfactory cortex, as well as the amygdala. And the amygdala is a very important structure in connecting an emotional response uh, to olfaction or smell. Uh, cl a clinical consideration uh, with respect to olfactory at nerve one, uh, if there's a damage to this pathway, the individual could have impairment or even a loss of smell, and this is uh, termed anosmia. Uh, some clinical considerations that, that may lead to an impairment uh, of smell are as follows. Uh, infection of the sinuses, sinusitis. Uh, hay fever can impair our sense of smell. Uh, influenza, uh, a viral infection, can as well. Common colds interfere with our sense of smell. Um, obstructions of the nasal passages, uh, perhaps polyps, or tumors developing, and there are some additional causes that may also lead to impairment of smell.